up guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to another uh, LBA video. This is actually uh, week 7, round 14. We are currently chilling at a nice 7-6 and six record. Uh, and we are playing the best team in uh, my division, the Aqua division. Um, we're up against Shadow Chu. He has a pretty cool team. Just looking at that real quick. Um, he has a Snorlax, a Raichu, which is actually a really cool set. Uh, <laughs> but we'll get into that later. Uh, Kofagrigus, Jirachi, uh, Mega Altaria, and Weavile, and on my side I have Thunderous, Clefable, Goth, Tell, um, my main man, Halucha, Gyarados, and Excadrill. So looking at his team, I am sub-DD Gyarados again, um, so I think I can actually just straight win if he's a physical Altaria and uh, I get up a couple DDs behind a sub and uh, I think that is going to be the goal for this match so let's go ahead and see how that went down also shout out to my boy D Train for recording this of course um, link to his channel will be in the description down below if you guys do enjoy the LBA format I recommend you go check him out anyway I'm going to go ahead and lead Thunderous as he leads Weavile I immediately get screwed on lead matchup but I'm just going to click T-Wave because I'm like you know if I have to sack this thing I have to sack this thing um, he's going to go for the knockoff right here, which, you know, it's fine. I end up taking that hit, and I'm going to go and switch out into Gyarados, because I know I can get a free Intimidated off versus him, and it's not really that big of an issue. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now, as uh, he goes for the Ice Punch now. So, you know, I was kind of able to outmaneuver that situation, even though it didn't end up that well, to be completely honest. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and sub up right here, because, you know, I can. Actually, I Dragon Dance, which... And, you know, I was predicting the para. Also, I didn't think he had low kick. Because um, I feel like he would have gone for it. Um, or not. That, that's a crappy excuse. Anyway, he he hangs on using his focus action going for counter. Let me just explain that play right there. Um, so I'm sub DD and I was like... This close. You guys can't see it because like I, I don't do face cam. But, like this close to clicking sub unfortunately i did not so kind of lose my win condition on turn four which is pretty lame so i'm just gonna go into clef right here because clef can get my rocks up um take any hit and uh just knock him out he ends up going for the knockoff meaning i don't have lefties but it's not that big of a deal uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and go straight for the moon blast and knock him out so you know 5-5 five, five, although i have lost a significantly more important member of my team on a play that i shouldn't have made so he ends up going out into Snorlax right here, and I'm just going to be a dick. I'm going to click T-Wave because, you know, that's what I can do. I can spread para. Uh, that's kind of what this week's team focused on, uh, slowing stuff down. Uh, he's going to go for the body slam and get the para of his own, so ain't nobody moving out here. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I know he's run block curse lax in the past, and that could sweep me right here if he blocks. So I'm going to go into Misa, um, which is the Gothitelle, as he doesn't end up going for the block, which is actually pretty funny. And uh, right here, I really do think his best play was the body slam, but you guys are going to see that he goes ahead and goes straight away for the curse, which is pretty funny, actually. Um, because <laughs> now this is a pretty free kill, and this also gives me an opportunity to talk uh, over some stuff right here. So, right now our record is 7-6, and six, but that's a tad misleading, um, because what happened is two people actually dropped out from the league, uh, one of them being Nelson, who is the owner of the uh, Sandshrews, the other one being Bryle, who, I, who he was a guy with the Shadow Sneak Kecleon and like the Trick Room Espeon. He was that guy. I played him like week four. Both of those guys dropped. Therefore, I have like I those games were changed to 3 0 wins in my favor, which is super nice. Um, because like you know, super helpful to get those out of the way. Um, in addition, the person I'm I was supposed to play actually, you know what, we'll save that for later. Anyway, so I actually have one extra win right now. So instead of being seven and seven and six, I'm actually eight and five. Meaning this game actually has like a good amount of importance. Um, I think I got that right. Yeah, because this is week 14. Anyway, uh, he's gonna go into Scarf Rachi, click U-turn, which is fine because now I know his spread. Um, well, like I don't know his spread, but I know roughly what he's gonna have. He goes out in a Yin right here, which could be a problem but I'm just gonna trick it right here because I wanted to take back a scarf and uh, I believe we just end up switching leftovers right here which is pretty funny actually 
so uh, this thing I think is another block set because they kind of block different things that's the cool thing about his yin and yang anyway I'm just gonna click sidekick right here get off damages he will knock me out with the shadow ball but uh, this would have been an, an ideal time to sub up with Gera because he probably can't touch me can't break my set that would have been beautiful anyway I'm just gonna go into clef as he goes for the nasty plot which normally would be bad except for the fact that he's now really that he's now slower than me and uh, leaves pretty much anything on my team to pick him off which is pretty beautiful so I can just start firing off moon blasts hopefully get a special attack drop but you know if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out um, as he ends up going for a shadow ball right here that is gonna do a lot but not enough to knock me out uh, I get a spin uh, he drops my spadef right here, which is, you know, it's meh, but I can just go for the moon blast. Don't get paired, which is beautiful, and I uh, knock him out. So that is one uh, threat gone that I would otherwise have to deal with, and he goes out into Raichu right here, and this is where the game really takes a turn for the worst, because what's going to happen is he's going to go for the fake out, and I'm like, okay, physical Raichu, this is now like a lot easier to deal with. Now he's going to go for the Volt Tackle, however, and does hella damage to Clefable and knocks out Clef, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I'm like, hey, you know, I have Scarf X, which will chill in the back, easiest EQ of my entire career. I go ahead and click it as he clicks the Endure right here, and I'm like, oh god, if he's Leechy buried, this is a problem now. And, uh, guess what item he was, guys? Um, your boy was Leechy Berry, so that's kind of a problem, because I can't deal with this now. Um, I go into Thundee as he goes for the reversal and Thundee is gone, which I actually kind of wanted because it was the only thing that could have let Drill win the game. Uh, I go out to Nacho though because I know I can take a hit. Um, I should have subbed right here, but I just end up going for the SD. I don't know why, because subbing would have been the far superior play. Um, as he just knocks me out with the Volt Tackle. So now it is Excadrill against the world, I believe. Um, and when I say against the world, I mean against like two mods. Um, the only way I could win is if he was Fire Blast and he missed. Which I desperately needed. Um, like I could click Iron Head, but it's like, since I'm Choice, that just doesn't really work out. Um, he goes ahead mega evolves and is going to reveal the fact that he is physical with the eq um right after my eq goes first so we're having eq wars also if that had killed right there that would have been huge would have given me a chance to win the game however um excadra will pick up this ko right here and bring it to 1-1 however he does have scarf rats chilling in the back he's either gonna have fire punch or drain punch or he could probably just flinch me with rachi but it doesn't really matter um so that's a very, very good game, Shadow 2. Um, really had a lot of fun. Uh, hope I can get another shot at you in the playoffs. But playoffs? Talk about the playoffs? Anyway, <laughs> before I go off on a really bad interpretation of that, um, hope you guys enjoyed this week's uh, LBA content. There were four battles. Um, out of these last two, the uh, Week 7 games, which, one, um, which games do you guys think... Yeah, horribly phrased excuse me what I meant to say was <laughs> out of uh, these last two games who do you think was the MVP uh, for those games um, my vote would probably have to be with Clef Clef pretty much put the entire team on his back and said come on squad you come with me um, got like six kills in two games it's pretty cool but you know it's up to you guys and with that I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content and with that I'll catch you on the flip-flop.